Mr. Chairman and uh, Secretary Yellen, I want to talk with you about another uh, guidance issue that we need to focus on in the American Recovery Act. In the act, there is a restriction on the use of funds under the state fiscal recovery fund that was included that would prohibit states from using funds to, and this is a direct quote, either directly or indirectly offset a reduction in the net tax revenue of such state or territory resulting from a change in law, regulation, or administrative interpretation during the covered period that reduces any tax by providing a reduction in a rate, a rebate, a deduction, a credit, or otherwise or delays the imposition of any tax or increase or tax increase. Now, as you know very well, this, uh, this has raised many questions and concerns. 11 of my Republican colleagues and I introduced the State Fiscal Flexibility Act last week to simply remove this troubling restriction from the law. 21 state attorneys general wrote you asking for a clarification on this issue and a lawsuit was filed by the Ohio Attorney General. This is an issue that needs immediate clarity. And I'm aware of the letter that you responded to the attorneys general with in which you said that you will provide guidance uh, before the states must submit a certification under 602 D1. Uh, but that doesn't really tell us how soon this guidance is gonna come out. It seems to me that states are hamstrung right now. They can't do anything until you give them the guidance. Can you give us some clarity on how soon this guidance will come out? Well, um, we have a 60 day period to complete the work to get the money to distribute to the state and local governments. And there are a host of thorny questions that we have to work through that connect with the um, issue that you just mentioned. And we simply are going to have to try to craft guidance in, in that period of time, we're working on it 24-7 uh, to get it out as rapidly um, as we possibly can. Well, thank you, and I appreciate that. I, I'm going to encourage you to do everything you can in, you, in developing this guidance to answer those thorny questions in a way that gives maximum flexibility to the states and local uh, communities. Uh, in, again, in the letter you wrote to the attorneys general, you seemed to be uh, moving in that direction, you stated that nothing in the act prevents the states from enacting a broad variety of tax cuts. It just cannot use the revenue from the act as an offset for those tax cuts. That, that's correct. And I, that, that, I, I really appreciate that perspective. The, the, as, you, as I'm sure you're aware, that still leaves the question as to what is offsetting. Uh, how do you, how do you uh, intend to approach the question of what is directly or indirectly offsetting a tax cut? Well, when I said that we have thorny questions to, to work through, you've just indicated why we, why we do. We will have to define what it means um, to use money from this um, act as an, as an offset for tax cuts. And given the fungibility of um, money, it's, it's a hard question to answer. But that's what we're required to do, and we will we will do our best to offer guidance on it. Well, you just hit the nail on the head when you referenced the fungibility of money, and so uh, I again I, I want to encourage you to be very restrictive in terms of the application of this prohibition, and give the maximum flexibility. Uh, to states and local communities as they administer these funds. I just want to ask you an example question. I want to keep pushing on this issue with you. Um, All right. And I, and I realize you may not be able to answer this any more specifically than you've been able to give uh, specifics so far, but uh, I'm just going to give a hypothetical. What if a state decides that um, as with the federal acts waiver of federal taxation on a certain amount of unemployment compensation, the state would like to also waive a, a portion of its tax on those same unemployment compensation dollars. Would that be a penalty that the state would have to pay for if it did that? So we've been asked this question by a number of states, and it's one we're going to have to consider and work through whether um, conforming changes that states make, for example, with respect to unemployment insurance, um, whether or not that would qualify as a tax cut or be exempt, and we're examining that question carefully. 
Well, thank you. And again, I'm just going to encourage you again to give the states the maximum flexibility they can. They, they are hamstrung. And the last thing we should do is put states in a predicament where they could lose the funding that was, was authorized by Congress to help them uh, just because they want to manage their fiscal policy in a way that might include some reduction of tax revenue. Thank you. Thank you.